All right. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> I know, wanna, me too. Want to count us in? Yes. Three, two, one. What up? Welcome to uh, another episode of Necroelectric. It's a right. hot day here in the Lone Star State. <laughs> but we're fucking smashing through it. Thanks to all you little uh, pumpkins in the podcast patch for showing up here. <laughs> um, I'm Sean. Pretty much. <laughs> yes, some, you are. Shankenstein. Some, some people call me Shankenstein. Some people call me Sean Von Blood. In uh, certain Latin countries, they call me El Blanco Diablo. Ah. <laughs> what they called Ace Ventura or something? I don't know. <laughs> the white Devil. Nobody ever told me. <laughs> to my uh, left, we got my little princess of the podcast, my little sexy fashion maker <laughs> Kylie too many nicknames <laughs> and then we got the uh, hashtag ka ka-ching. master of the mixer over there Susanna uh-huh. Lopez <laughs> what's our uh, what's our freaking topic today our topic is friends 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 it's um, something, something, friends, something. You know how that song goes? I, I forgot. I have no idea what's happening. I don't right know what song that is. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she knew it. Okay. You guys both went I in. Am, you don't know what song it is? I am alone in this. Because <laughs> we're friends. Hashtag, if friends. you know what, the, what song I was talking about. <laughs> friends song. Friends. Friends stories. Um, I, have, I have tons of friends. Or sort of. I've had isn't weird how like, like every era of your like chapter of your life you kind of have like a group of friends yes yeah. for yeah. new people and then uh shit always happens and people go opposite ways yeah I remember the first time I ever lost a friend not really lost him but just I used to hang out with this kid in uh elementary school I'm just gonna say his first name it was Nathan mm-hmm. And we used to be, like, good buddies. He lived a few houses down from me. And we went to uh, a school called Joe Mitchell in Livermore. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went to the bathroom one day. Like, I asked to be excused. And I walked into the bathroom. And Nathan was up on the sink, like, with his butt cheek spread. Like, looking, like, at his Mm. butthole. (laughs) And I walked into the bathroom. Like, in the mirror? Yeah, like, in the mirror. And you're, like... He was, like, looking back, you know? We're no longer friends. At school. I was a little kid. And I remember walking in and being, and like, catching him. And I didn't know what to do, dude. I was, like... You're, like, oh. uh, And I just turned around and fucking went back to my class, dude. I fucking... Did he see you? Oh, yeah, he saw me. He, like, not at first. He was, like, looking at the mirror and then he, like, looked at me. I didn't know. Or did you do it too? No, no. You'd be like, what's this about? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's do it together. <laughs> I was like, I was like dumbfounded. Yeah, yeah. Bizarre. Is it awkward between you two? <laughs> yeah, super oh, awkward. I bet. <laughs> and I didn't even like tell many people. You know, I told my cousin when I got home. But other than that, I was, I, I don't know. <laughs> it fucked me up. I was did like, you ever talk to him about it? No. And he he was we just <laughs> never talked to him. And we used to hang out all the time, like on the playground and shit. That is so weird. And then we both just were like, All right. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> okay. That was friendship, a- <laughs> friendship done. Yeah, we're we can't be friends anymore, sir. <laughs> 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 it was just weird. Weird thing for like a, I think I must have been five or six. Oh my at the God. Time. Oh, damn. Maybe he was just discovering, like, is that where these sounds are coming from? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I just, it, I, like the he didn't weird have thing, a mirror at home. Couldn't it, it, wait. It's like burnt in my brain, though. Like I was yeah. there yesterday. No, oh. Sometimes kids do stuff like uh, they're instantly inspired or like they're obsessing with that thought or whatever, that song they heard or that cartoon yeah. they saw and that maybe he, somebody was talking about that about or his asshole maybe <laughs> you never know and and like no dude it was rough kids in china like poked each other in the asshole kids what? in china <laughs> yeah like at Poke school each other in the asshole dude do you watch vice <laughs> do you watch vice the vice channel no, on instagram no. like, follow vice okay there's like some holy shit i thought it was bizarre and there's literally like a statue of some kid poking another kid in the ass. Why? What? Like, that's like what, the, it's funny or something. I don't know. <laughs> that's so weird. I watched the little mini doc about it because Vice has a bunch of mini docs. Shout out to Vice. And it was really fucking weird. 
Yeah. Sounds really weird. weird. Like, don't poke. <laughs> if I had my kid, like, fuck no, don't keep her fucking fingers to yourself, kid. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know, but there's statues of it. Google it. I'm telling you, it's weird. What about you? Do you have any weird friends when you're little? Um, weird friends, not really. I was, I was actually. Shame, I'm shameful to say I was kind of part of a group that bullied some kids. <gasps> oh, well, I've heard all the, the stories about your sister. About my sister, I didn't bully my sister. My sister bullied. You me. made her like <laughs> go to the bathroom and <laughs> cups. Dun, dun, dun. And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Lawn, lawn. You know, like the uh, lawn things where you, those little green things. Sprinklers. In the, yeah, like but the where the controls are, you like pull them out. They're like green circles, like little man covers. I grew up without yeah. sprinklers. Uh, <laughs> Just kidding, well, I don't know. Like, they're like these little lawn... They're kind of like uh, the things in the street where you lift them up. Yeah, like, like a Oh, man- the cover. Manhole. The man- yeah, like, manhole. They're like okay. little green plastic ones. But it's for like the oh. lawn. Oh, okay. She used to make uh-huh. her sister like piss slugs, and shit in those. We were there. mean to her. <laughs> <laughs> That's your bathroom. But that was a collective. That wasn't just me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you grew up being a bully. Uh, would you say I I remember distinctly thinking like especially to this one girl that went to our school I had like four close friends and I remember thinking like we shouldn't be doing this and like feeling Uh. bad about it but you know being part of the group if I didn't you know you were going to be the next victim yeah (laughs) yeah. that's kind of what happened to me in middle school it was like a little gang and then they were all like ready to fight one day with this one girl, like the main girl of the group, right? And then we all were skipping that day, so we were at this little house, and the street fight started, and everybody's like, let's go! And they all started jumping that girl, that one girl, and I was like, no, that's oh not God. right. Like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> and I was like nervous laughing, like, ha, y'all are stupid. And, and towards the end, they were like, you didn't join the fight. You're out, and now we're going to beat you up. And I was oh, like, what no. the fuck? Yeah, see? You know, like, shit see? backfired. Mm-hmm. I didn't get beat up, though. I, I moved Good. schools. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Move schools real quick. <laughs> do you ever have, like, a... A friend like, like fuck you over, end a friendship that way. Hmm. Yeah, but with because of a boy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Girls are always with boys. Yeah. Situation. Yeah. It was like she fucking slept with my boyfriend. It kind of was a boy situation. It was like it? high school. Yeah. <laughs> it was high school. Yeah. I had a friend uh, named Tanja, and she was like this kind of quiet, nerdy chick that used to go to my band's shows. And she was real good friends with my guitar player, Wes. And uh, she took good pictures. Mm-hmm. And I like was like, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, like, you know, let me extend my hand. And like, I'm like, hey, if you want to come to more of our shows, the band will fucking pick you up and take pictures and stuff. Cool. And then she got into taking pictures of other bands. And like, we shot music videos. Uh, she introduced me to uh, one of my close friends, Mike TM. Mm-hmm. And all that stuff. And we had like a good friendship, right? And she got this uh, fucking fat ass Mexican boyfriend guy. <laughs> and, Gangster, um, cholo. No, he's just a fucking nerd. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, Never mind. <laughs> and my mom was getting married at the time, and my mom called me and she was like, "Oh, um, my photographer like canceled on me at the last mm-hmm. minute." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Well, I know somebody. Let me let me give him a call." So I called Tanja, and I'm like, "Hey." I'm going to go to Reno for my mom's wedding. And she had never been to Reno. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if you want to roll and take pictures for my mom, I'll, uh, I'll, you know, pay for all your food. You can, you know, have a place to stay. And, you know, yeah. if you want to go out and do stuff or whatever, like, I got it, you know? And she was like, well, can my boyfriend come? And I'm like, sure. I don't care. Yeah. And, and then um, I go out there, I pick, I drive an hour to Hollister, pick her up, pick up Rico or whatever. We drive all the way to fucking Reno. I pay for all their food, all the shit. I give them my room at my mom's house. I sleep on the couch. My mom bought all this like fancy fucking black and white film mm. and gave her the camera to use. And uh, during the wedding, she opened the the camera a bunch of times and sixty dollars a roll but nobody cared you know she, yeah. she did get like this some was before digital cameras yeah. <laughs> i know i'm upset with her because as a photography major i was like bitch yeah. Yeah. she already yeah. fucked up the film so like. out of like you know 10 rolls we got like six rolls or whatever mm. you know whatever and then um 
they're like, oh, it's kind of colder here. We didn't expect it to be cold. I'm like, let's go to the mall, you know, and I bought them hoodies and shit and did all this stuff and basically just treated them to whatever they weren't wanted. And then I said, you know, I'll take you to Tahoe or whatever uh, when this whole shit's over with. Mm -hmm. And then after my mom's wedding, I'm chilling in the, the fucking living room and I hear them in my room talking to my new stepdad. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, you know, um, uh, or, or no, actually, actually, I fucked that up. Uh, she came to me and she said, after the mall, she was like, do you think your stepdad will tip me for taking photos? Oh, oh okay, okay. Which was fine. That's fine. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, I'll talk to him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I'm thinking in my head, and even if he doesn't want to, I'll probably tip them. Or yeah. And then I'm in the living room, and then um, I hear them, they're talking to my stepdad. And they're like, yeah, normally I get paid $3,000 for a photo shoot like this. Oh. This is a, a chick that does photo yeah. shoots for free at, at concerts. Yeah. And I had just, on top Never of it, done a wedding. on top of it, I just built her a website a week before to like put all her stuff on. I did yeah. that for free because we're homies. Yeah. I was a, a small clique of people that we just did stuff for each other. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and she's like, yeah, we normally get $3,000. I just fucking lost it, dude. I'm like, nah, dog. You don't fucking extort yeah. my new stepdad, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's. And then I fucking I bust up in there. I tell Will, get you know, you know, never mind, because he was gonna. Uh, I mentioned it to him when I got home before they talked to him, and he's like, yeah, I'll give him a couple hundred bucks. That's why he went in there to talk to him. He's like, um, yeah. he's like, here's two hundred dollars or whatever, and they're like, oh, we normally get three grand, you know. And my parents are <laughs> wealthy in any. You know, yeah. sense of the means, dude. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Maybe yeah, they Google like how much do photographers mm-hmm. get paid for weddings? And oh. then, and then, uh, then the boyfriend was like, "Yeah, she had like a a fucking cheerleader gig that was like, you know, gonna be like twenty five hundred dollars, and we turned it down to come do this." And it's oh, like, right. nah, dude. I asked her if she had anything going on. She, for one, she never had any of that. That's horrible. Yeah. I'm glad you overheard that. Yeah, I got so fucking pissed. Yeah. I told him, "Pack your shit up." We jumped. I threw him in the fucking truck. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't go to Tahoe. I just drove. Straight. I didn't even let him fucking piss on the way home. I didn't <laughs> yeah. stop. I just drove straight to fucking Hollister. Told yeah. him to get the fuck out. How dude. awkward in the car ride. <laughs> I was, I've never been so mad. Yeah, fuck you know, that, it's yeah. like, dude, if you're gonna do anything to me, do it to me, dude. You yeah, know I mean? I'm like, a family. Yeah, family. Don't, don't go to my new stepdad, oh. dude. You know. I mean, then, how old uh, was she? Um, I was probably. 23 so she was probably 21 22 oh yeah she would yeah. fuck up yeah. old enough to know better yeah yeah, yeah. she would, should know better but I'm, and I don't hold grudges too much but I mean she's tried to email me over the years like hey let's talk or whatever and it's, nope yeah it's just unforgivable to me to, yeah. to even try to extort my family after like even on Halloween one night Wes um, and a bunch of my friends are going to the scare grounds Mm, like and then, a, and then uh, I hit her up. I'm like, "Hey, you got you gonna meet us out there at the scare grounds?" And she was like, "No, nah, nobody will pick me up." Blah, blah blah. I'm like, "All right, well, it's 40 minutes out of my way, but you know, I'll, I'll fucking swing out and Damn. pick you up." And <laughs> you know, I, I used to do shit like that all the time, dude. Yeah. You know, and then yeah. and then yeah, I just got fucked. She over basically on that. bit the hand that fed her, kind yeah, of thing. Pretty you much. Know? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's just whatever Screw it was. Tanya killed that friendship. <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. A lot of my friendships have ended, like, not on a bad note, but just because, like, our lives just went separate ways. Like, yeah. I had a really close group of friends all throughout elementary school, and then they all went to a different high school than I did. Oh, okay. Or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know. I've had, like, you know, playing in bands, whatever band I was in at the particular time, you know, you're, like, the tightest of those people. Because yeah. for the most part, I lived with them all. We. Yeah. Stayed in fucking small confined fucking vans or whatever. You know, jam <laughs> you spaces. You get to know each other real well. Yeah. yeah. Well. And then you have like this we're taking on the world mentality together, yeah. you know? But then something always fucking goes awry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Always. And then now, like, I'm in my 30s and it's like, it's hard to make new friends. Oh, yeah, fuck oh, yeah. God. You know what I mean? Making Dude, new friends yeah. in your 30s is like the worst. <laughs> You're like, you guys are our only friends. Like, oh, you're our only like, friends. I feel like our only like good friends because yeah. we've had friends or whatever, and yeah. it's just like, oh, they never showed up like at all. People or flake. They just yeah. the older you yeah. get, the more people flake. Yeah, yeah, and it's just it gets harder and harder and harder to try to make an effort for yeah. for them, especially if you don't know if like 
if they're really down or if they're really I even have your back or <laughs> friends that I've been friends with for like 15 years and they still flake yeah you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, some of my closest friends I'm like hey I'll be in town like yeah. for this one day only like can we fucking meet up for lunch and they're like yeah yeah and then the day of they're like oh I gotta do some random bullshit thing you know yeah. it's like I do have one particular friend that I was good friends with for about five years in my early 20s all the way to my late 20s and uh, I felt like I had the feeling that she was using me like Mm -hmm. she was using me to we used to be like really popular together but I was like even more popular with a certain group of people that she wanted to get into with um because i worked in sales i worked in marketing i worked in whatever so i had like a lot of people in in full worth and if she's watching this bitch this is why i no longer have i am friends (laughs) with you she was constantly on her phone right and i was having trying to like really talk to her like friend to friend look this is what's going down in my life right now this is what matters this is like when i was gonna go get engaged with my husband and and i was like i'm thinking about writing this book you know and she's like, oh my God, really? A book? And she like comes, like, puts her fucking, like if, like if this shit was like a, like if she was going to get famous or something. I don't yeah. know what she thought, but uh. I quickly smelled that like, yeah, this ain't cool. And then she, we almost crashed the car because she couldn't get off her phone. And then it turns out like it really was about the book, which I never fucking wrote, but it really was about the book. Like she ended up messaging me and messaging me over and over like, weeks months weeks months hey you've written that book hey you started that book What's hey you know you sp- you know like it was about supposed to be like our my life and starting uh, our our relationship with me and my husband because uh, of how crazy it. it was she wanted to be in it she wanted a piece of it gotcha. she was like if you're gonna use me at all like basically i want a piece of it yeah and i was like dude this is like not even this is something i'm just thinking about That's like it's so not weird. even a real thing but thanks for letting me know your character yeah get the fuck out of my life mm-hmm. and she messaged my mom she messaged my brother she messaged my sister oh. and they were like hey dude there, there's this girl and she keeps messaging us telling us you know she wants to get in contact with you blah blah, blah. no man yeah see no. don't involve the family yeah, and then no, she's like stalking no. them, becoming friends with them on Facebook. I deleted my shit. I deleted everything. Oh, I was like, bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That was a weird one. Who uh, who was your best friend growing up? Oh man, Vidalia Davis. Who? Vidalia Davis. Vidalia. She Pretty was name. yeah. This really I've never heard that name in my yeah, life. Tall, talented chick. Uh, that I saw her as tall and talented because she was extremely tall. And um, she taught me how to booty dance. Booty oh. dance? <laughs> yep. <That's laughs> she taught me how to booty dance. Her grandma used to take care of us after school. And, and she's doing really good for herself. She's got her nice. little blog video thing. Okay, podcast so you still talk. Kind of life. Well, we don't. But she's, she's doing good for herself. Like, we oh, just good. don't talk no more. Yeah. We broke up in, like, the beginning of high school. Our mm. friendship started, like, going away. But she's yeah. really cool with my siblings. Like, they still stay kind of stay in touch, you know, yeah. kind of thing. But she was a really, really good friend. Sorry. Yeah. What about you? Like growing up, like middle school. Yeah, like, like as younger? a little kid, who would you say is your best friend? Um, I always had like kind of rotated depending on what I was doing. Like I was always part of some sport when I was in school. So like I'd have a best friend while I did softball. I had a best friend while I did volleyball. Yeah. Um, one girl that I really kind of clung on to was Mandy Taylor. She uh, was on my softball team and volleyball team one year, but uh, she was a grade older than me and we all bonded over Good Charlotte. Oh, <laughs> nice, yeah. <laughs> we would, it just so happened that like three years in a row for her birthday, they were always in San Jose playing a show. Nice. So we went for her birthday like three years in a row and yeah, just fun times, a lot of fun softball memories that's good that's yeah that's really cool i've had like a couple i mean ever since i was like two or three there's a guy named robert preston he's like this biker guy and uh his mom was a waitress and my mom was a waitress and uh we did some wild shit my mom actually did wild shit because uh, like i told you my mom had me when she was 16 mm-hmm. and his mom had it, robert when she was pretty young and i remember actually um one time my mom got a little sauced and pulled me out of school early. Mm. And she was like, I'm going to go to, uh, was it, um, uh, Day Aquarium place. 
Monterey. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'm going to go take you to Monterey. And I was like, cool, can Robert come? <laughs> and this is like the middle of school. It was like lunchtime. And she's like, yeah. And then I'm like, Robert, <laughs> let's go. You know? And then he's like, okay. He didn't know better. Yeah. And we get in the car and we fucking go to, uh, we ended up going to Old Monterey. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. a, a, a town. And then my mom like uh, got a little sauced and fucking passed out. And then um his parents were like freaking out oh you know? yeah. yeah 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 and then uh we ended up going back home the next day and i mean nothing came of it his dad was actually a sheriff and everything and, oh uh, okay that's horrible but i guess it was just <laughs> he's just like i tracked them down just because like the you know, my moms knew each other which is weird too because now like being an adult i'm like how would that scenario work nowadays like if Bane just went to school and like hell no, like one of your friends. I'd just be took on him. a mission. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'd work out nicely. Yeah. At all. <laughs> but I mean, we've always been friends. But you know, he he got really into like gangster rap and shit in high school, and then he became like a biker later in life, and so we kind of we never really hung out like forever. But but I, he's probably my oldest friend. That's cool. But my best friend was probably Adam, the duffel bag. Porn oh. Guy. The, uh, <laughs> Yeah, me and him have been through fucking bands and just being tattoo artists yeah. and kicking it, you know, just for yeah. years and years. That's cool, man. My true best friend right now is you. Yeah? <laughs> I thought you were going to say Bane. <laughs> Bane's my little buddy. Uh, well, you're my best friend, too. Aww. We got time for a sponsor. Yes. You guys, this episode is brought to you by Dark and Dreary Clothing. Dark and Dreary is an edgy fashion and lifestyle brand that embraces great design and unsurpassed quality. Dark and Dreary has quickly gained a following amongst fans of occult, horror, punk rock, heavy metal, and all-around free thinkers and retailers worldwide without shoving a preachy, trendy, or political message down your throat. So buy the best, fuck the rest, darkanddrearyclothing.com. And if you want to... Whatever you got going on to be sponsored on the show, just hit us up. Go on our website, necroelectric.com, and click the sponsorship tab. And it could be anything your band, your fucking clothing line, whatever you want. Hit us yourself. up. Yourself. Yeah. yeah. If you just Promote want your, yourself. Your, fucking, your ugly face right on our fucking camera for fucking 30 beautiful seconds. Beautiful face. I'm or, sure it's beautiful. <laughs> whatever you want. We got it. Uh, I don't know. We're, being friends too in our generation I think people are going to look back at our generation as like a monumental generation for the Mm -hmm. fact that we were here for like the dawn of the internet for like yes that's true cell phones taking over everybody's lives I'm sure 20 years from now they're going to be like oh what the fuck you know and that's and the internet and everything has just made I think friendships so weird because yeah like people I went to like middle school with I see on a daily basis on my Facebook yeah you know what I mean we're like our parents generation and shit once they got out of high school they may run into somebody at one point in time you know but I got people like I haven't even like seen in person in probably like 20 years and like they'll comment on like a page I'm like what the fuck yeah (laughs) so different like my grandparents have been out of high school for at least 50 years and they still have high school reunions Oh yeah. wow! I'm like I yeah. don't feel like it's like that for I don't, our generation. Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, there's like no need for it if you yeah. see them every day on yeah, the fucking you're line. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But then I, it, uh, yeah. it's also interesting because like you get to see how like everybody like turned out. Yeah, yeah that's true. But I kind of just felt like I was. I guess like it could affect everybody. Social media, right? At some point, you're like, ah, fuck this phone, and you just yeah. want to shove it. And then I kind of felt like that about Facebook, especially because of that girl kept stalking yeah. me or whatever, blocked yeah. her and everything. But um, but you met your husband on there. I met my husband, and that was like the only good thing about it. And then I was like, delete everything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> delete everything. And yeah, but I guess uh, Instagram's a new Facebook now. Yeah. Have you made? Uh, <laughs> have you ever made like? Like a friend off of like Instagram or Facebook? Like someone you don't know? Yeah. yeah, like somebody like you never met before, but now you like consider them a friend? You know what? I don't kind of. really consider you a friend if I've never met you. Yeah, like a true friend, yeah. right? Like a true friend. 
I, but I do have se- this one girl shout out to Mary because I know she watches a podcast. She follows it on Instagram. She Yay. follows it uh, on YouTube. And well, Mary. we we knew each other in high school, um, but we never really hung out. Mm-hmm. But we always kind of like, I like that girl. Mm-hmm. She's cool. Always kind of like yeah. that. So we followed each other on Facebook. We followed each other on Instagram ever since high school. And she's now following the, the podcast. I think she's a really cool chick. Yeah. So shout out to you. Yeah. Yeah, and there's some people that I see on Facebook now who, you know, never really hung out with them in high school, but I still follow them on Facebook, and I see what they post now, and I'm like, maybe I should have hung out with that person exactly, more. Exactly. Yeah. We actually have similar interests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't know why I didn't hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. Like we we comment on each other's posts. Me and, and Mary, we comment on each other's posts sometimes. You know, she's got a cute little daughter. Yeah. She's coolest girl, and you know. I love seeing everyone's kids. <laughs> oh yeah, they're so, yeah. like they look just like them. <laughs> yeah. Or they don't. <laughs> it's almost like we're like re meeting. Yeah. Like, That's a mini you. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. That's when I knew you. <laughs> yeah, man. All the cute pictures they post. Yeah. Gives you baby fever. And before the internet, people had, um, like, pen pals. Oh, my God. I did have a pen pal. pal. (laughs) Yeah. Elementary, I think it was elementary. What a weird concept, like a pen pal. Like, you're just writing a letter. Waiting days to get a letter back. (laughs) It was fun, though. It was like, oh, I got a letter. You're like eight, you know? (laughs) Now I only get junk mail. (laughs) Like, like how did that shit even work? You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of people did it through, like, school, right? That's how you guys did it? Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, through school. But how did the school be like, okay, here's, like, another group of kids? Some kind of program yeah. maybe yeah. like set up between the schools and Is that what stuff. yours was? Yeah. That's what mine was too. Yeah. It was like some classroom in Alaska. Yeah, it was, uh, I think mine was in Would Australia. You write, did you write like, hey, is it cold up there? <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> I remember um, my mom kept this whole folder of things I used to write in writing classes from sixth grade, so when I was 11. And then I, I still have that folder. I was like, oh, I'm going to show my kid one day if I ever have a kid and show them the things I used to write. And I sat there and uh, I told my husband, look, I even wrote that one day I was going to learn Brazil, port- uh, Brazil language. And I didn't even know. Brazil like, language. Yeah. I was like, get that cool. That's so and he's cute. like, that's creepy. <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, I thought that, that was cool. That's awesome. All right, we got time for another sponsor. Yes, this episode is also brought to you by <laughs> Mod Ministry. Mod Ministry merch creates for the edgy woman, the kind of woman who works hard but plays much harder, who embraces femininity but tests societal limits. We are not for the faint of heart. We are bold. We are beautiful. Check out the Mod Ministry Etsy page for handmade harness lingerie, five star rated seller since 2014. Go and get that sexy shit. Ooh. What the f? Okay. Okay. All right. Technical difficulties. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Something's beeping. Uh. As long as these ones aren't, we're good. <laughs> yeah, Mod Ministry merch. It's a. Uh, Kylie's some baby. Cages. Yeah. <laughs> some full body harnesses. Do you yeah. do chokers too? I do chokers, yes. Chokers, ladies. Chokers. Those were hot in the 90s and they're hot again. They're hot again. <laughs> yes. They're always hot. Wear them in the dark, wear them in the light. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Friends are, uh, I don't know. To me, it's just friends are so weird. Like, I would say I, I probably have like 20 people I would consider best friends. Best that's friends. That's a lot. Yes. That's a lot of people. But what does best friends mean to you, though? Because I think to me, I have like a deeper, like, that's my best, best friend, mm-hmm. like, kind of real person on close to my person. Well, I would say, like, out of those 20 people, they're, they're all people that I either played music with, did art with, lived with. You know okay. what I mean? Like, I went through some kind of experience with all of them. You know, oh, okay. and it, it's funny to me too because I would say basically it's probably three groups: my early mm-hmm. bands, like my my serious bands, and then like tattoo people. Mm-hmm. And then I even mixed them sometimes. Like oh, I would bring, cool! I'd meet each other. Yeah, yeah. I'd bring like tattoo people with us on the road and <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. That's cool, man. And it's fun, like when I uh, would like say something to like like Kelly, I'd be like, oh, like Brian, this and that. And he's like, who the fuck is Brian? Oh, and yeah. Then, and and then he's like, enter- you're cheating on me with somebody, aren't you? <laughs> and then I'd introduce them, and then they would become really good friends. And then oh, it's weird cool. to see them, like, you yeah. know, interacting online and shit. That's cool. That's really cool. You bring people together. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Some uh, life in the comment section? 
Uh, yes, we have from Facebook, Liam underscore K. This episode was the shit, referring to the marriage episode, which was Woo! episode six. Yeah, yeah just aired. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it just aired this morning. So thank you for watching and keeping up to date, Liam K. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I really liked that. Diego was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. He <laughs> really fun. liked it. We will it. have to do a part two. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he said he had a lot of fun, that he really enjoyed it, and he definitely wants to be on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely good. have him on. I thought it was funny, too, because um, I can't even remember what episode it was, but um, he was here, like, just hanging out. And we're yeah. like, yeah, come on camera. And then like he came over to say hi, but he didn't like duck down. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so like he, he was like headless. But it kind of worked out because it was like the suspense. Like who is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And we have a, a YouTube comment from Emilia W. This is insane. I literally br- binge watch all six episodes. Kaching. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Yes, Kaching Emilia. Yeah. We love that people binge watch. I'm a huge binge watcher. Yes. Like, oh man, especially at night. Just, I will stay up as long as I can just to binge watch shows. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. I really like that. We'll have to make a t shirt that just says Kaching. For yeah. real. <gasps> Boom, light bulb. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to uh, Marco. Yes. Shout out to my bro. Cool. Well, that was a, a quick one. Yes, it was. And um, you guys got any shout outs? Oh, shout outs to the fam because they're being really supportive, personally Aww. texting, saying how cool and fun it is. And just comment on YouTube or yeah. <laughs> on the iTunes. Leave Fuckers. us comments and likes and <laughs> review us on iTunes, please. Yeah. 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 And, and rep us in the streets. We got beanies and uh, fucking t shirts. And uh, all that goes to just helping us out. Shout out to Funky Town, Fort Worth, Texas. Hopefully those people are tuning in. So I've been marketing some uh, Necroelectric business cards over there, hoping to spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, look out for me on, uh, I don't, I'm not sure when it's going to air, but I'm going to go to L.A. and film on the Stevie Weeby show Woo! on uh, May Stevie 14th. Weeby. So look, you know, keep an ear out for that. Yeah, and go go check out the Stevie Weeby show. Yep. I'm super excited for that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, super exciting. But um, as far as me, uh, I've got some new designs up at modministrymerch.com. And just keeping busy, rolling them out. Keeping it sexy. Yeah, keeping mm-hmm. it sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like there's bats. Yeah, it just right. sound like bats. That was weird. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> cool. They're listening in. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll see you.